Juan García Serrano. Graham, the champion in the white trunks. The number one contender for the vacant WBA title, which was stripped from Marvin Hagler before he fought Sugar Ray Leonard. And certainly that number one position is right on the line here tonight at Wembley. Challenger, Sambu Kalambe. Orthodox, leads with his left, 31 years old. Making his second attempt. Kalambe to win this title. Feeling the sting from Graham in the opening seconds. Calambo's been around for many years and fought some good men and beaten one or two of them too. Graham wearing a very natty pair of trunks and they wouldn't look out of place on a Florida beach. First fight since January. Making his second defense of this European title. Graham has made an extremely positive start to this. throwing one or two punches that uh, signify could be dangerous. He's got a quick looping right hand that Graham will need to watch. Well, so this for Calambo, 31 he may be, but uh, he looks extremely fit. Not an ounce of surplus weight on him. Graham will need to keep this man under very careful control. in it and good boxing and uh, if Graham didn't know it before he knows now that he's got a, a tricky and difficult and strong looking opponent against him here this is not going to be easy Calambe <laughs> takes a deep breath before they get to work again at a remarkable pace it would be surprising if uh, it didn't get a little sloppy at times and also we're coming into the crucial stages now I think there's a cut on the right eye of Calambe I think he's cut on the right eyebrow and indeed he is well that will give Graham a great deal of encouragement It's one of the first signs of vulnerability we've seen on this challenger. 31 years old. It's not bleeding very much, but it's certainly cut.
Kalambe's right hand. Not quite so potent anymore. Maybe the pace is getting to him. Or is he just taking a breather, maybe? for Graham. In fact, it's been one of the best rounds he's had. He's seen the blood on the face of Calambe and that's encouraged him. turns away quickly with a, a more confident look that's the first round for some time that he's, um, that he's really been the master and uh, now this injury on the right eye of Calambe it's not a serious wound yet but it's in a very vulnerable position and that swap stick dabbed in uh, one in 1,000, adrenaline, which is the only thing you're allowed to use to staunch the flow of blood. That's applied there over and over again to try to keep the blood from flowing. And that little mark underneath the left eye of Graham still giving the corner some call. Two to go. Graham in the white trunks. Callum Bay, the challenger, 31 years old. The African who's taken Italian citizenship, making his second attempt to win this European middleweight title and making a very good attempt to win it indeed. But his best moments may have gone unless he has something still to produce with which to startle Graham. Disturbing things about this fight from Graham's point of view is how easily he's been hit with that right. And uh, that doesn't bode well for any attempt to win the world title. And Graham drawing on his superb fitness to make the going fast even in these closing minutes. Backing his man up, as he was doing in the early stages of this fight. Trying to keep him off balance and never allow him to get set to throw the counters. Whether either man could now mount a really big punch is doubtful. They've expended so much strength in getting through these 11 rounds. Well, that's a good punch from Graham, a left hook. And Calambay had to scuttle away in order to avoid another one.
Harold Graham is going to have a lot of bruising on his face tomorrow. And uh, he's come out of that uh, quite usefully at that last round, Graham. He's piled the pressure on again, and although he took a few, I think he handed out rather more than he gave. And so we now approach the last three minutes of a fight that's been a real test for Graham from a capable, strong, and game opponent who's kept going all the way through and has always threatened to do something dangerous. And indeed, in the early, uh, in the middle stages of this fight, he was so dangerous that at one time I thought he might just beat Graham. I don't think he's going to beat Graham now. On the other hand, I don't think Graham's going to win it by a huge margin either. the champion trotting to the centre of the ring, Harold Graham in the white trunks, Sambu Kalambe, born in Zaire, now an Italian citizen, making his second attempt to win this title, European Middleweight Championship. The fight that Graham has to win to maintain credibility as a leading contender, and Graham is badly cut. Graham is very badly cut on the right eye. At the start of the final round, he suddenly sprung a leak over the right eye. Look at that. And it's just as well for him that it is the 12th and final round, because if that had happened earlier, it might have been all over for him. As it is, he's going to have a problem here. What a desperately bad thing to happen to him in the closing moments. close to the end of the fight and I don't think the referee unless it got much worse I don't think the referee would call it off or have a doctor call it off at so late a stage but you never know so these are desperate moments indeed for Harold Graham has found him at the finish. Can you believe it? He's almost out on his feet. He's getting his gloves up to convince the referee he's OK. And now he's got to run for cover. And he's pushed Calambo to the floor. No punch. And Graham now has to try to survive. Cut over the right eye. Badly hurt by the right hand. And the man in front of him is going for the finish. And he might just get it. The whole of Graham's world suddenly explodes. Just over half a minute to go. Can Graham survive? The boxing wits are coming back. But one more right hand like he's already taken might be the finish. Hanging on for dear life, Graham the hardest fight he's ever had. The bell coming up. Ten seconds to go. And Graham tries to get back into it as the bell goes. And the question is, has he done enough to keep the title? I had him ahead, but not by a long way, going into the final round. And then suddenly, this disaster swept over him. And so it's down to the judges for us to find out whether Graham is still the champion of Europe and whether he will maintain his position as a creditable challenger for the world title. Now then, let's have another look at the punch that almost destroyed everything Graham had built up over eight and a half years. That was the one. It was the same wicked scimitar of a punch from the right that had been threatening him all night long. And look what it did to him. He didn't actually go down, but he was out on his feet for about 10 seconds. 
There it is again. A curving, vicious right. And how he stood up, I don't know. But somehow his legs held him up. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here's the decision. The decision is unanimous. Judge Michael, the referee, Louis Michael, scores the contest. Callum Bay, 115 points. Graham, 114. He's Judge lost. Hank Adrian scores the contest. Graham, uh, Callum Bay, 116 points. Graham, 115. And One point again. But Graham has lost his Andrew title. And Judge Juan Garcia Serrano scores the contest. Callum Bay, 116 points. Graham, 113. The winner the biggest and new three points European by the final judge. Champion, and Callum Bay is the new European Callum middleweight Bay. champion. And Graham has lost the first fight of his professional career after 38 successive wins in eight and a half years. Suddenly, the 100% record is destroyed, but much, much more important than that. His title has gone, and with it has gone his chance to fight for the World Championship. Okay, yes, sir. that's a desperately bad night for you. What happened? Um, he was there all the time. Uh, I thought I was boxing okay. Uh, he kept rushing on. Couldn't get the, quite the combinations I wanted from it on the jabbing. But there you go. It was, uh, it was a game, fella. But <laughs> got to come across sometimes. Now you got your eye cut at the finish, and then suddenly the right hand culture. That that right hand had been uh, a bit of a threat to you all night long, hadn't it? Yeah, he kept, here uh, it is again. Caught me that. There it is. I was amazed you didn't go down because the old legs almost gave way. Yeah, well, he popped the, he put uh, the fist on my chin, caught me, sent my head back, but I took it well. But there he goes. He's a game fella. Right hand over. But I thought I thought I was having got him on the jab now and again. There it is again. Yeah. That little curving right. He was throwing that all night long, and I must say he did catch you a few times with it earlier. He did, yeah, yeah, but. Uh, it didn't hurt much as as it was. It just that it caught me. What did you think hands. about? How did you think it stood when you went into the last round? Did you think you were well ahead or just ahead? No, well, I, I thought I was just ahead on points. But there you go. It's a game, fella. Uh, I did what I had to do at that time. But there you go. It's disappointing for me. You agree with the decision? I mean, you've taken it very well. Well, I thought I thought it was close, but uh, I thought I probably just nicked it by a couple of points. It was a game for, as I say, and he got the decision.